Hi friends, I am Anuradha and we are at part 7 milestone of series by Test for Beginners. So in last milestone what we learned, we learned about an efficient feature of PyTest called Fixture and we saw how we could save time and code with the help of Fixture. Now in this milestone, I'll introduce you to one more way to save time and code and that is parameterization. So let's take an example of simple test case where you want to test the condition that A is greater than 0 where A is any number which you pass. So you may like to test it with multiple numbers not just one number, right? You may want to test it with 0, you may want to test it with one positive test case, you can have negative test case as well. So how many test cases will you code? If I go without parameterization, I have to code three test cases. I have to write three test cases. And with parameterization, all I have to do, I have to just write one test case and pass my data set using parameterization. In PyTest, we can do parameterization at different levels. We can do parameterization at mark level or fixture level. So, in this lecture, let's understand part 1, which is parameterization using mark level. And for that, we'll go back to our test script environment and see how we can do parameterization for the same case we have discussed using mark.parameter. So I'm back to my script development environment and you can find this project in my GitHub repository QA Milestone Academy. I'll create one file test underscore parameterize example. So this is the file where we'll be writing our test case for mark.parameterize and let's write one simple test case test underscore first and let's pass a number to it where we want to validate using assert that number is greater than zero very simple very simple and simplest case we can take for explaining parameter right so instead of writing three different test cases for passing my number as one or hundred over here all i can do is i can define mark over here using mark dot parameterize this is one of the default mark which is available to us now now let's understand what we have to pass over here so first thing we have to pass the name of the argument which we want to parameterize so we can pass it here as number and then we have to list down the values with which we want to test 1 0 100 let's say minus 4 right now let's also mark this test case as anything so that we can identify our test case so that we can exclusively run this test case I'll pass this param test case to pytest.ini like we did earlier okay and let's run this test case so let's run this test case with mark as param underscore test case and I have uh, used verbose mode and it says two passed and two failed and that that is what we expect we have two numbers which are greater than zero and one is zero and the other is negative condition which is minus four so within this one test case we have actually executed four test case and this is marked as four test cases so this was simple right let's take one more example I have one more test case define test underscore product underscore detail okay and here I need to pass two things product underscore name and let's say color okay product underscore color and what I'm gonna do I'm simply print I'll simply print this okay okay and then I'll say I am product underscore name with product underscore color so I might want to this is not really a test case because I'm just printing but let's just say this is the simplest case that I want to validate product name with product color okay and I want to test this case with multiple products against their colors so let's take some data also so first thing let me mark this test case as mark underscore param test case what I'll do I'll just comment this test case for now I will also 
pass my parameterized data. For that, I'll do mark dot parameterize. And here I have to pass two things. One is product underscore name and the other is product underscore color, right? So I'm passing two things and I will pass them as tuple because there are two. So I'll pass list of tuples over here. And let me take a couple of uh, products. Uh, let's say black color. Then let's say car. Let's say red color. Let's say mobile. Example, let's say golden color. And uh, let me take TV. Okay. And maybe, I don't know, silver color. Okay. So this is how we will be parameterizing this test. So this has two parameterizing candidates. And this is how we do it. Okay, so let's run this test case again using pytest minus param test case minus v. Uh oh, I have missed one comma over here. Seems let's run this test case again. All right, cool. So we have effectively four data sets and therefore four test cases. And of course, our test cases will pass this time because we are just printing them. And uh, we can also use minus s to see. Yeah. So we get I'm shoe with black, I'm car with red, I'm mobile with golden, I'm TV with silver. So that's how we do parameterization using mark dot parameterize. But I would say this is not a very practical manner to do that. So because it is hard to maintain our scripts like that, right? We need to have better way and that better way is parameterizing at fixture level itself. And so in our next lecture, we'll see the example of parameterizing at fixture level. And as part of that example, we will also learn to do cross browser test automation using parameterization at fixture level. So let's meet over there. Friends, I hope I was able to help you through this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay tuned and have more such videos and don't forget to visit my website qamilestone.com which talks about more such YouTube series, wonderful posts and my Udemy courses. Thanks for now.